Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the US State Department's Deputy Assistant Secretary for Arabian Peninsula Affairs, Daniel Benayim, at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the strength of Bahrain-US relations and emphasised the importance of continuing to develop the strategic partnership that benefits both countries. His Royal Highness welcomed Benayim's visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain and praised the efforts made by the United States of America to enhance regional security and stability. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, His Excellency Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the Bahraini Football Federation and Bahrain Athletics Association. The visit was attended by the Deputy President of the General Sports Authority and Chairman of Bahrain Combat Sports Council, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the General Sports Authority, Dr Abdurrahman Asghar. The visit is part of His Highness inspection visits to national federations and clubs to inspect the programmes and plans. His Highness met with the President of Bahrain Football Federation, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Mohammed Jalal, in addition to a number of the two institutions' members and affiliates. His Highness praised the efforts exerted by the Federation and Association, such as hosting events and local competitions, to prepare the national teams for international championships. His Highness called on to increase programmes to support athletes and discover new talents. He added that the visit aims to support athletes in sports institutions and federations. His Highness was briefed by the two institution presidents on the future plans of the two sports in light of the national team's achievements. For their part, the President of Bahrain Football Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Association expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, affirming that his visit reflects his support and keenness on developing sports in the Kingdom. The Shura chairman, Ali Al Saleh, participated in the National Genome Centre's campaign to collect blood samples to enhance medical services in the Kingdom. He affirmed that participating in such campaigns is a part of the national and social duty and is an expression of support for the efforts of the government in the field of healthcare, especially in the light of his success in efforts in continuing the pandemic in the Kingdom. The Bahrain Development Bank signed an agreement with the Adami Real Estate Company along with the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Al Ansari. The bank CEO, Sanjeev Paul, the CEO of Adama, Amin Al Arehi, and General Manager of Adama, Walid Adil, the, chairman of, the Chairwoman of the Board of Amayasim, Dr. May Al Utebi, Al Ansari's welcomed the bank's involvement in developing the capabilities of women through a Rayadat program in cooperation with the SCW. She also welcomed the cooperation between the bank and Adama to develop innovation at the centre. She said that the centre, under the leadership of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, is looking forward to the positive results of the agreement in order to contribute to the recovery efforts from the pandemic. We signed an agreement to give the property management for this beautiful mall to Adama. Uh, which, as you know, is uh, you know one of the premier government-owned companies which manages all the properties in, in Bahrain, which are government-owned. So I say it's a historic day because 
Uh, Riyadhat, as you know, has been supporting women entrepreneurs for a very long time. And now we now want to take it to the next level in uh, supporting women entrepreneurs. And we hope that, you know, this will be a new uh, kind of benchmark for Bahrain women entrepreneurs who can take space here. I'd like today to be signing with um, Bahrain Development Bank uh, under the um, guidance of the Supreme Council for Women to reactivate uh, Riyadh Mall, to bring it back to an active place that plays a vital role in the community in Ali, uh, and to serve women entrepreneurs and businesses all around Bahrain. Arab Parliament Speaker Adil al Asumi met Pakistani Foreign Affairs Minister Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, who affirmed his country's keenness to tighten its relations with the Arab countries, as reflected in recent visits to several Arab countries. He praised the wise and balanced policies of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his tireless efforts, which represent a cornerstone to achieve security and stability in the region. Minister Qureshi affirmed that Bahrain is one of the leading countries in preserving human rights, healing the measures taken by the kingdom to provide all means of security, safety and a decent life for all. He stressed the support of His Majesty the King in consolidating the values of tolerance and promoting a culture of dialogue and acceptance of the other was reflected in his protection of all human rights. al Asumi affirmed that building a modern and advanced system for the protection and respect of human rights is one of the solid foundations of His Majesty the King's reform project. He stressed that His Majesty's interest in upgrading the system was not limited to Bahrain but also to the Arab region, which was evident in his initiative to establish the Arab Court of Human Rights. The speaker noted that there is a significant and remarkable development in the Arab-Pakistani relations and that the visit of the Arab Parliament delegation to Pakistan inaugurates a new phase of Arab-Pakistani relations at the parliamentary level, as well as discussing mechanisms for cooperation in various international forums. The National Health Regulatory Authority, the NHRA, has authorised a clinical study to evaluate the use of Innovit nasal spray to treat individuals with COVID-19. The authorisation follows a medical study submitted by the relevant authorities at the Ministry of Health, which indicates their support for a clinical trial to take place in Bahrain. Innovid will be tested on volunteers who have already been diagnosed with COVID-19 and who are suffering from mild symptoms. The NHRA noted that upon completion of the trial and further analysis of medical data, this spray will be approved for use as prevention and treatment for mild COVID-19 cases and may be sold in pharmacies without prescription. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health has announced that 1,113,645 had taken the first dose of the vaccine while 1,061,122 had taken the second, 166,926 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,013, with 124 recoveries and 122 registered new cases. 31 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 69 are contacts of active cases and 22 are travel related. There are five people in a critical condition and four active cases receiving treatment. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.